Okay, so this is what everyone's really been waiting for. These are the this is the GIMP box um, in here. I'd ordered some of these anyway, so I've just reused and used them as packaging, which is why, why bother messing about with cardboard boxes if you don't need to. Anyway, so it's exciting. I've got no idea what's going to be in here. Well, no, I do. I knew that, I know there's going to be one Chilabracus Hugh Harney, however you say that. So let's have a look at what we've got anyway. Oh, and Liana is going to be choosing one of these. I've got to see if I can read these. Chilobrachus species. <laughs> so all that says on it is Chilobrachus species and nothing. So maybe that's the Huani, Huhani, or <laughs> maybe that's why it's in a gimp box because the label's rubbed off. I doubt it. I think that's probably the Huhani. So what's what's next? We have no. That's the. Chilobrachus huani, one centimetre, okay. So that just says Chilobrachus species, which is interesting, could be, who knows what it is. What else have we got here then? This is Cyropacopus species, question mark. Cyropacopus species, question mark. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> This is, ooh. So is this a Balfouri? This is a Monocentropus Balfouri. Two to three centimeters. Gimp. Okay, so I've got one Balfouri. I don't think you can sort of mix them. Because my other one is only about one centimeter. I don't think you can just add them, maybe feel like it. Find out about that. And this is, says Gimp on it, and this is a, a Behemori. So this is a Mexican Redney. I've got one of these. It's the first one that I know 100% I've definitely got one of. This is one centimetre Hamora. That's... So far, that's the only one that's a new world. <laughs> you can choose anything you want from here. That's the, those are the rules. But so far, out of these, that's the only one that's a new world. All these have got venom. Venom that could hurt you, apart from that one. Right, this is a H. Spinifer. What is a H spinifer? I think that might be a true spider. Not sure about that. I'm really not sure about that because I wouldn't have thought a true spider would be in a gimp box because they say on the site that true spiders often have the legs missing and that doesn't matter. See what I mean? Um, this one's got a bit of weight to it. Ooh, it's a T elbow. Sub adult. Gimp. So this is a. Um, T elbow pelosis, which is a curly hair. So I've, I've got two of these already, <laughs> um, but uh, they're, they're brilliant. So that's that's a brilliant beginner spe species as well. well. Pretty much everyone has one. Sub adult, adult, okay, sub adult. So I don't know what the H spinifer is. I'm not absolutely sure on that. But I think it's going to count as old world or true spider. I'm not sure though. And the last one, A Samani gimp sub adult. I haven't got one of these. Asumani, so they're a, a new world burrowing species. The stripy knees. So that's the that's what we've got. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spiders in the box there for 60 quid. Not bad, is it? Um, let's say T elbow is new world. Uh, you know, you can choose what you want. I, personally, I would go for a new world with, in your level of experience. Um, anyway, you've got a T elbow, T elbow, elbow pelosis. These are great. You've probably seen them in my videos. I've got a, I've got an adult female and a sub adult, I suppose already. But, so that's good. A Samani. I haven't got one of these. If you want the Samani, Samani is yours. Sub adult, adult. Those. Um, a B Hamori, Mexican red knee at one centimeter. I got mine at one centimeter, and it's taken about. Six, seven months. No, mine was actually slightly bigger. Mine was about three, four. So reasonably slow growing, let's be honest about that. The Hamori. So those three are New World. No idea what that is yet. Gimp Balfouri. If you like Balfouris, you know, 
I've got one of them. Huvani. You don't want one of those as a beginner. <laughs> Very fast. Defensive. Um, Syropacopus. Um, that's not the Hatty Hatty, is it? I can't remember which. I, I know the name, and I know it's one of these the bluish spiders. Old World. In fact, it says species question mark. I don't know. I don't know what that means. And Gimp on top. And then Syropacopus species. No idea what the rest of it is. Um, anyway, that's the contents of the gimp box to start with. I'm going to have to rehouse them and put them somewhere. They need a drink, obviously. Actually, check for check they're alive as well. Let's be honest. I could check they're alive. Let's, let's check they're alive now. So, in case you didn't know, this is my rehousing box. So, if if they were to get out, I'm in control. I can let them run off and hide behind all this stuff. Can't really go very far. Let's just check for signs of life. Right? Good plan. Um, pick the easiest first. So Ace Marnie. I do like Ace Marnie. I think there's different colour forms. Slightly bluish one, a more brownish one. to make up. just want to see if we've got an idea of size or life. Okay. Definitely alive. It's moving its feet. I don't want it to come out actually. I'm not ready for it. Yep. Nope. It's out. <laughs> This is what the tub's about, if you can see that. So he's climbed up into here. And uh, <laughs> very much alive. Yeah, he's missing a foot on one side. So easiest thing to do for him right now. So this maybe this plan isn't going to plan. I wasn't expecting him to come darting out quite like that. Put the brush in here. It's nice and live. It's actually quite big actually, so what do you say? Okay, he's probably three and a half inches, easy. I've um, got loads of catch cups like that here. I just need him in that box for you. We shouldn't have had all these in here. Let's change this plan around. I think some of the ones that say one and two centimetres, I might as well get enclosures ready for them actually. This was maybe a bad move. And it will change, I'm afraid. So, lid. He's just going to sit in here until this box is properly ready. I'll go in a bigger box than this, actually, as well. So what you're actually going to be able to see from that. Prove that the box did its job. So yeah, let's have a look at him. What a beauty. Brownish, whether that's brown colour form or not, I don't know, but it's brownish. These are a burrowing species, or known to be burrowing. I don't know if this one is a burrow until he settles in a bit. So I'm just going to put him into there for now. contained. Yes, I'm going to change my plan of attack here, get some enclosures set up, probably finish this off in the garage. Well, there's no time like the present. I've decided, since the Somani is sitting here, stressed out in an empty box, we'll stick it in something. But um, another thing that's occurred to me since then, H. Spinifer. It's a scorpion. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've got any scorpions, Simon, or Liliana, if you've got a scorpion or wanted a scorpion but it's part of the deal it's, it's one of the things that's in there so it's a Malaysian forest scorpion 
is part of the options for you. I'll show it in a minute anyway. Um, that's going to be fun just to get out. Okay, here's a Samani. So it's proved it's got a bit of a speed to it, this Samani, but um, let's see now. We just want it to go from that one into this one. Let's get the water in there now. Could be very thirsty, I'm thinking. Samanis are not particularly wet loving spiders. Well, we don't know. I like to give them all a chance to do what they want. So, up and over. Into that area. Just a bit further without running out, I think, would be the good plan. See, this isn't big enough for it, really, but until you've chosen, you know, because you might want this Somali. Look at those knees. What a beauty. So as you can see, he's a lot. He's a lot too, far too big for that box, but I mean, it, it's a nice place to put him for now. That's what I'm thinking. Come back a bit. Yeah, what a beauty. Yeah, I really like that. So this could be one you could choose. <laughs>